Hello everyone, today we have a pretty hard decision to make. We need to decide Tara Brown's fate. Now she already turned into one of the lost souls, meaning killing her will probably end her suffering, which is probably the best option, but we'll go talk to her kids first. The reason why we have to make the decision is because there is no sheriff anymore in town, and we have to go talk to the mayor to appoint a new one. So the other question is, where are the Brown brothers? Actually, aren't they the survivors? Now think about it. From all the way, the beginning of the game, where you had these two survivors. Yeah, because we had to look for a Tara Brown, I remember now. Oh man, they were setting up this questline way before then, that's crazy. Well, that is quite sad. They don't really have the heart to kill her off, which is understandable, of course. Which means we're gonna have to do it. And afterwards, they'll come and bury her. And also set up shop, so I'm quite interested to see how that's gonna turn out. Man, this zombie isn't even, like, really moving anymore. Don't tell me we can loot. Oh my god. Well, gonna have to do it. Oh my god, there's multiple things. Wagon key. <gasps> oh, I remember now. There was something locked in the wagon. You know, we should probably actually talk to the mayor first. Because <laughs> we're probably gonna have to do a quest that's, like, outside of Corpse Creek. I guess we may as well just take that while we're at it. Also, man, this building is huge. And multi-floored as well. Whoa. Who's there? Who's stumbling in front of my house? Okay, dig up the key behind the mansion. I don't know why he thinks we are one of them. As, well, I think it's over there. As lost ones can't typically talk, but uh, sure, can we go in from the back door here? No, we're gonna have to go for the front, I guess. Alright, look at that, I'm not one of the zombies. Oh my goodness. What the hell happened in the kitchen here, man? What's all this? Is that a skull? That is a skull up there on the fireplace. This guy has some interesting design in his home, I'll admit. Bunch of blood here, though. Goes to the bathroom here, too. Hello? Can I look? Bathtub is filled. Ooh, wires, nice. You know, he didn't trust me, and uh, this probably not helping much, I'll admit. Interesting, we kind of opened these doors sideways, somehow. I don't really know how. This house is really annoying to navigate through. Oh, the chandelier fell on the stairs, so we can't really go there. That is where the mayor was hiding. This just had double doors by the looks of it. Right, let's see. What color is the lights out back of my mansion? That was red. Uh, I think I remember this riddle, though. <laughs> I think I heard this before, or a variation of this, anyway. The horse was named Friday. They're <laughs> very smart, yes. All right, last one, I promise. What does it mean if you find a horseshoe? Does that mean luck? Become lucky. Wrong. Well, feck. A poor horse walking around in his socks. Alright, well, that seems to be it. That is probably, honestly, the more logical options, <laughs> realistically. The other ones were kind of weird. Oh, interesting. There is a hidden room back here. It doesn't seem to be openable. You have anything else that I can just snag? No? Alright. Alright, I guess I'll just talk hmm. to Maiden. I don't know that he has a beautiful art collection, you know? I do quite like his art. See that one in the middle? That is my latest piece. In the middle of what, mate? There's like so much stuff around here, it's kind of crazy. I wish we could have all of this in our own home, I will admit. No idea what those signs mean, but hey, it looks nice on the wall, doesn't it? Or don't it? What kind of symbols is he referring to, though? Sure, he's probably talking about... Well, he wouldn't be talking about this, although this looks kind of sus. Well, let's go talk to him about the sheriff. Alright, well, how about we just tell him that we need a new sheriff? Because telling him we shot the sheriff is probably not a good idea. Oh, feck. Well, I guess she's... What? He still knows? Alright, we have to get some holy water from the church. Can I just mine this thing? No, I can't use weapons in here. Alright. Alright, to find the church is our new objective, which is a piece we unlocked. And it's turning nighttime again. I've been talking to the mayor, like, all day. That actually took a lot longer than I thought it did. I guess scoop some water so we get tired. Because I guess talking all day to the mayor is not exhausting. Although, realistically, it sounded pretty dang exhausting. That guy is kind of crazy. And with that also, welcome everyone to day 100. Alright, let's see. We took care of your mom, so... Okay, we cannot talk to the Brown Brothers now. And we'll go check out the carriage here. The wagon. Alright, let's see. Carver provisions. No, where is that? There we go. Right? No, that just opened with a common key. Where was that thing then? Because we needed a key for somewhere around here, right? Or am I just going crazy? 
Maybe I am going crazy, or I'm thinking of something else, maybe. Okay, so this goes to a wagon at Brown's trading post. Is that even a thing we had? There is actually a trading post, I think, on this jail tile, though. So it might be that one. Well, before anything, let's go unlock the church. Place this one down real quick. Probably makes sense. The church is right next to the graveyard. My god, there's more zombies there. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> I wanna get, like, full sanity for a little bit. The reason why I wanna loot all these corpses, by the way, is because they give rotten tooth. Which seems to be, like, a rather rare-ish item. And you kinda need a lot of them for a specific achievement, which I'm trying to go for. So, that is the reason right there. My plan is to eventually 100% the game, because I really enjoy it, and that's what I usually do with games that I enjoy. I wanna... 100% all the achievements. There seems to be a carriage over here. Yeah, it's wagon key. There we go. So what is all this? Just some miracle tonics. Well, I suppose that's all right. All right, and there's all my sanity gone again. I think I can loot one more thing. Now, what's this? Inspect. Two legs and arm. Could this be pro Noah? I fucking hope not. I need to talk to that guy. God damn it. Build a ladder with six wooden planks. Well, all right then. All right, I needed six of these. Easy, because we got a buff from the workbench so we make an extra one we also finally unlocked the final tier so i put that on extra damage with the axe to environment anyway because the other one is deal extra damage with the rifle or with the bow but i'm not really having that many issues with the combat anyway so like i may as well just waste it on more axe power we also got a torch it's actually an item i've never seen before i don't think Alright, let's equip that on 9, because it seems like it's going to be useful down here. Oh boy. There's a couple of scrolls, inscriptions. Should I try to pull out? Uh, all of them, I guess. Just just do all of them. <laughs> there we go, that's it. Is this the holy water we're looking for? It's a uh, moonshine. I think that is what they called the holy water, at least. This is a piece of the meteor, though. And this is so cool. Oh, I also just noticed that the torch actually has a timer on it. It's kind of sad because I wanted to loot everything. Also noticed that my wolfie is not really with me here. Alright, so this looks like a door, but we can't really go through it. We need a catacomb door key. Oh, well, this is going to make us completely insane, but I think that's going to be alright. Alright, let's touch the meteor then. Oh. Oh. We are on one of these places again. Don't have to do a ritual this time, though. Alright, the meteor was black and green. Well, we got another mysterious fragment. Alright, so we have to find someone who sleeps below the ground, yet is above ground. Can I mine this? Oh, heck yeah, I can. Oh, fuck, that was a bad idea. Oh, fuck, that was a really bad idea. He is special, though. Why is he glistening? Does he have the key? Backpack's full. God damn it. Which of the backpacks, though? Is it this backpack? Yes, it was. Catacomb key. Alright, good, good. So, god damn, backpack's full again. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's a big guy. Alright, well, I took care of the big guy. See what he drops. Bones. Classic. A piece of the meteor, right, is what we got. And the entire meteor seems to be gone. Well, let's see what we find in here. Just a chest to loot? New recipe is a gold ingot. Man, we are so full up, it's kind of annoying. Alright, we got gold ore. Which is kind of interesting, because I thought we needed silver as well. I don't really know where to get all these things, anyway. Alright, find the man who visited the world beyond is our next objective. Before that, though, I think I want to just clear out a bit of my inventory here. Oh, I'll put the uh, gold in here. Also, I got a polar bear head after defeating one of the polar bears. Or right, let's see. So, from the information, it was in... Which village was it again? The village near the canyon. Right. So, I was correct. It was this one. Yo, mate, hmm. is it you? I guess it's not this guy. Oh, well, there was one older guy that was somewhere around. Well, let's try this house. Well, we do have a question mark above this guy's hmm. head, so he must be it. So we'll have to find a train station next. And he says hopefully things will make more sense. To be fair, I don't think it really does, but who am I to judge, I suppose? We also still have the moonshine, so we should probably bring that back to the mayor. The mayor that now has a train station right next to his home. 
Oh, we immediately unlock new world pieces with that. Okay, two new pieces, which shouldn't be that bad. There are two unique pieces. Ooh, luxury fabric for the mountains. That's the next biome I'm pretty sure we have to go to. Luxury fabric, though. We need a lot of horsehair for that. All right, there we go. Luxury fabric. Now, I would have liked to use these ones on maybe some other gear, but I guess we don't really have a choice here. All right, let's unlock the mountains. Most expensive piece so far, to be sure. All right, let's head back to Corpse Creek. Because then we can give the mayor his moonshine. And we can go check out, well, presumably the mountains here. What's up, mayor? You wanted some moonshine, am I right? Hmm. It wasn't easy, but I found it. And he gave us a gold ingot. Interesting. And we also unlocked a new recipe with that. Probably in the anvil. We need two ingots for that, though. Two ores makes an ingot. It's kind of weird that we unlocked gold before silver, because it looks like we should have already unlocked silver by now. But hey, we'll probably unlock that in the mountains here, if I were to guess. Let's see what the train station itself has to offer. There seems to be a guy here. Alright, does she have anything interesting to tell? Well, not many interesting things, except there was a loud explosion noise. Which I suppose we can see by the damage that uh, this place sustained. There are some ores around here. Is this silver or is this tin? Because to be fair, it kind of looks like tin. It's way harder though, so... Yes, silver. Fantastic. With silver though, I'm pretty sure we can make so much more. We can upgrade our gun finally. We can probably also upgrade our actual tools. Alright, instead of checking out the mines, I want to see how much silver we can produce. We should probably upgrade our pickaxe, because I feel like we're going to do a lot of mining in those caves. Actually, does he also sell silver ore now? He does not. Right, we have everything on us except for the ingots. We need three ingots for this. Yeah, we unlocked silver ring, we unlocked silver pickaxe. I'm really debating whether or not I should just get the gun first, because I don't know what awaits us when we enter the mines. Alright, let's light the gunsmith. Let's start crafting the hawk. This seems to be the most powerful gun in the game, and we just got it. Which means we can actually sell our old gun. Fetches a, a nice 20 gold. But heck yeah, that's pretty good. So we got the strongest weapon now in the game. It looks like there is some other things that unlock here, but these don't seem like they would be tools. My best guess is that they're going to be more rings or something. And hopefully we can find one more piece of gold. Because we find one more gold ore, we can actually make the gold ingot. But that's going to be something for next episode. We've fought a boss this episode, which is actually pretty crazy. It wasn't actually that tough. I do hope they add more bosses to the game. Or we'll see more bosses, I should say. But they will actually be somewhat of a challenge. I don't think they will be in this case, because we have... The strongest weapon in the game. Not only for the strongest axe in the game, and we should be good. I should probably also start making armor soon. Because we're kind of running around naked. That's because this armor is way too hot. And we're going to hot biomes like all the time. But this one seems to be pretty good, this set here. We just need a lot of luxury fabric. Which, um, yikes. But with that, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.